It was a surprise when we went. When we got to school, we couldn't wait till lunchtime. I'd open that lunchbox and see she, what treats she'd put in. She used to put little notes in my pet lunch for school. Just a little note, love you, and that's it. And that just made my day just so complete. If I had the choice between mum and dad, I'd go to mum because I know she'd protect me from dad. We go to the bathroom, clean our teeth, get dressed together and have breakfast together. I always ate breakfast cereal for breakfast. She's a good girl. She reads us bedtime stories. I know that that's the stereotype that everybody will say, yeah, my mum's the best cook in the world, but actually I, I do think in the average of mums, mine is pretty good. When I was very small and she was still giving me baths, I remember climbing out of the bath and her cuddling me dry with a towel. Every time we needed her, she was there for her big cuddles. And no, she had the best cuddles in the whole entire world. And always there to listen if there was a problem. Even when I'm far away, she'll always be there. After 50 odd years, she's still I'm still the little boy and she's still my mummy and that will, that will never change. At the front of my bedroom I had a, a letterbox. My mum had a, a, a wonderful knack for wishing for things and then it would happen. I would look at it in the morning and I'd be really disappointed that nobody had put a letter in it. Imagine Scotland, that was where we were, and my mum said, all it needs now is a bagpiper. And my mum, one day we spent the weekend, I don't know, gardening, and she put a little letter in it. And we went round the corner and there's this guy playing bagpipes by the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. I just remember that as such an act of, it's so simple. And ever since that, me and my father, it was always like, we need a bagpiper whenever we needed a, a miracle, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> there you are, there's your crane. <laughs> I told her a lot of things I never told her, but I never said thank you. I don't think we say that enough to our mums, really. Thank you. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. You don't forget, wherever you are. I have the best mummy ever. If I've picked up some of those traits, I'd be very happy. For as long <laughs> as I live, even when I'm dead. You don't make sense. True. That usually don't make sense.